Hi everyone, here we have our David Brown electric tractor. Um, sort of David Brown 880 that's been converted. Just running test batteries at the moment, just some lead acid batteries. But you can see I've got the slasher mower attached to the back. And it's a 1.5 meter mower and we're going to give it a run today and mow a little bit of grass and see how everything runs. Um, I'm going to be using a combination of this handheld video camera and a head mounted video camera um, and I'll see see how well we uh, see how we can get anything video for you uh, so let's hop aboard and start up okay so we're now on board and we're going to go run through the startup procedure so first of all turn on the main key which starts the 12 volt supply uh, turn on the pre-charge switches for both PTO and engine and that also starts the um, this, this, the displays, the CA3s, hopefully you can read those um, and uh, see what's happening here at the moment, so we've got about 80, 80 volts um, through the batteries at the moment, so um, 72 volt supply um, now we'll just turn on the main contactors and then turn on the run switches um, at the stage, starting the the far driver software for the main motor controller, and we'll just go to comms, scan, and connect. And I connected OK, so now we can we can see have the display running as um as we're doing stuff as well. So. Um, Right, uh, okay, now let's, uh, first of all I'm going to start the PTO motor and raise the hydraulics so that we can get the uh, topper off the ground, uh, lock it in place and then drive to the paddock. So. so first of all I'm going to run up the PTO motor to about 5, 000, uh, 500 RPMs. You can see five it says 550.0 kph, but that's actually 500 uh, RPM on the CO3. You can see that there, and then we'll raise the PTO. Raising that fast because we haven't got the PTO motor running very fast. When, when the motor faster, it will raise faster, so I will. So it's now fully up, so I can lock, lock it in place, and you'll see that the that the um, that the hydraulics don't drop now because they're locked in place. So I can again turn off the PTO motor and now we can drive to the paddock. So um, I'm actually going to drive, it's about 300 metres to the race uh, down the uh, end, of our, end of our central race of our property. So I'll just drive there now. So I'm in second gear and taking off.
So now we've arrived at the bit of strip of grass that uh, I'm going to mow. It's uh, not a heavy strip of grass, but uh, it's, uh, the paddocks are a bit wet to drive on at the moment, so this bit of central race will do for uh, our test mow. So, uh, um, next step will be to uh, start the hydraulics again, so start the PTO motor and then lower the uh, topper. So again setting the revs at about 500. Uh, raising the mower, you can hear it now. Um, disengaging the block. can lower the topper again. So now that it's lowered, I'll stop the PTO motor. Engage the PTO, set the lever here. And now we can start the mower. behind me so that you can see that my
lot of the gauges. I'm using about 36 amps, 30, 30 to 35 amps on the tougher 50 amps to move forward. Race. I now stop the topper. Just take take the load off the thing, and then I can actually disengage the topper. And the topper will just continue to free wheel now. So with that stop, I can now raise the topper. it into place and we can drive now back to the uh, shed so I'll have to reverse up to turn around and then uh, off back to the shed um, because it's, it's locked in place I can actually turn the PTO off now and into reverse So I'll just start the PTO again so that I can lower the disengage the lock and then I can lower it. Shut down, 
and I'll show you what we've uh, So if you look at the gauge now, this is the one for the PTA gauge, um, hopefully you can see the screen okay there. Um, it says we've used 184 watt hours on that, ga on that uh, circuit, and the motor's at 21 degrees and we've used 2.59 amp hours. And if we go across to the other gauge, hopefully you can see that, we use 325, motor's a little bit warmer. Um, and it's used 4.57 amp hours and, um, and 325 watt hours and voltages are sitting at about 74 now whereas we're up around 80 so uh, batteries I'd say probably might have another 10-15 minutes of run time um, but uh, that shows uh, that uh, it does work and it gives me some amps to, uh, to work out to try and get work out some battery sizes now so um, all in all, successful run, so um, hopefully you found that uh, um, informative.